In this video, we're gonna go through palpation of the thoracic spine. We're looking at different landmarks and what you'd be looking for and why you'd be looking for that. We're gonna start our thoracic spine palpation by locating C7. And then by extending the head, C6 will disappear on extension of the head. So you can tell that you're on C7. Then from there, we can palpate down through the thoracic spine from C7 down through T1 to T2, T3 and so on through the bony prominences down through the thoracic spine. What you can also do is lo locate the spine of scapula. The spine of scapula is located at the level of T3. So if you come onto the spine of scapula and you come across onto the thoracic spine, you will feel the level of T3. And what we can also do is go to the inferior border of the scapula. So if you find the inferior angle of the scapula and come across from there, you will find that will be really level with T8 thoracic vertebra. We can palpate the rhomboids, which are medial to the um, border of the scapula. And then we can also palpate into the levator scapula, which is you can find the superior medial border of the scapula. That's where levator scapula originates and then travels up the neck towards C2. So we can palpate through here. We can also then palpate the upper fibers of trapezius, which is going to be found above the clavicle. What we can also do then is palpate the rotator cuff. So we can palpate supraspinatus and infraspinatus. And we can do this by going to the supraclavicular fossa for supraspinatus. And we can do this by going inferior to the spine of scapula um, to find the infraspinatus muscle. We can palpate the rib articulations as well, which will be laterally across from the spinous process of the thoracic spine, where you can feel the articulations of the ribs. If the patient is seated, you can also get them to put their arms across their chest and slightly flex forward, and this will be able to enable you to feel the rib articulations more easily. We can also palpate the paraspinal muscles for tenderness, and pain on palpation and throughout the whole thoracic spine exam you are looking for swelling, pain, any change in temperature, any change in uh, clamminess of the skin, any change in deformities or lumps or bumps and generally things that you wouldn't expect to find on palpation. If you're a physio or therapist looking to get better then press the subscribe button, click the bell icon and that way you'll see all the, our current videos that are coming out and they're all designed around helping you to get better. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, then click this one here because you are going to love it.